Video number one, the dashboard. The dashboard you see here is a fairly full dashboard with lots of widgets open. Each widget is designed to show you a particular fact or figure about activity on your telephone system. Every customer will be different and every widget can be customised to show a different set of information depending on the requirements of that customer. You can have as many widgets open as you like on the dashboard and each widget can be moved around or rearranged to suit the requirements of that customer. The idea behind the widgets is that there are actually mini reports which are constantly being refreshed. So every 10 seconds or so, or however often you want them to be refreshed, they'll come back with an up-to-date set of information. What we'll do now is run around the dashboard and look at each of the widgets that you can see on screen in turn to show you how it works in more detail. The four widgets we have open on the top row are fairly key for all businesses who want to analyse inbound calls, perhaps from customers. The first one here is the grade of service monitor. What this is showing is that we're answering 17% of our calls within the target response time that we've set. Currently we have it set for 20 seconds. And as you can see, we're not doing very well against that target, so currently we have a very low percentage of calls being answered within that target time. The next widget we can see is the average ring time monitor. This is showing that our average ring time is currently around 36 seconds, way over our 20 second target. And from that we can surmise that we're probably missing some calls. To understand if you really are missing calls, and if so when you're missing them, we have the caller tolerance widget. This widget gives you a really good understanding of how long your customers are prepared to wait and queue to be answered. And you can see here from the number of minutes queued and the number of calls missed, we do have a peak of calls around 30-32 seconds that we're missing. So we're not getting anywhere near offering a good service. To give you a better understanding of this, we have the missed calls widget. This gives you a list of numbers from which you've had a missed call, so you can see who you need to ring back. The system is constantly looking for an outbound call to any of those numbers, or for any successful inbound calls which connect. If it sees this, it will remove the number from the list. This gives you a very clear and easy way of dealing with missed calls, rather than the traditional approach of running reports periodically through the day. This ensures you don't miss any opportunities to do business with potential customers. These four widgets together give you a very clear picture of how you're handling your inbound calls. There are also a large number of other widgets available to give you a complete understanding of other areas of your telephone activity. For example, the hourly call traffic widget. This will build slowly through the day and give you a complete overview of how many calls you're receiving at different times of day. This will help you to identify peak times and ensure adequate staffing during those times to give good service. Next we have a section called the Contact Centre Wallboard. This gives you a high level overview of the total number of calls that you've received, total number of unanswered calls, number of calls waiting and the longest current queue time. Some sections or widgets may be part of optional modules, not part of the standard product. For the Contact Centre Wallboard you'd require the Contact Centre Upgrade Module. The Statistics Leaders widget is an example of a motivational section of the system. There are several motivational widgets available in the system. In this particular widget you can even upload photographs of your agents and the right photograph will be displayed according to who has taken the most calls or who has had the longest call duration for the day. There are also other options for motivational widgets available in the system. The DDI report gives us a very good idea of the number of calls we're receiving from specifically advertised DDIs in different places. So what you're able to see is how you're responding to calls coming in from those particular DDIs, whether or not you're giving a good service and whether or not you might be losing calls from them which could result in wasted advertising revenue. For example, it may be that you're advertising with Google very cheaply, you're getting lots of calls in and you're answering them very well and getting a good response. Likewise, it might be possible that TV advertising, which is very expensive, perhaps isn't generating a lot of calls, and maybe the calls that are coming in are not being answered very well and you're losing calls as a result. This can help you to understand which form of advertising is the most effective and the most worthwhile investing in in the future. When it comes to people, using the Sales Extension Call Activity Report, you can start monitoring individual staff within your department. 
be that a sales, IT or support department, where you can now see how many calls individual people handle and you can tailor the widget to show the information that you want to see relevant to each person. The data on this widget comes from a report which we'll look at in the reports video. You can control which information is brought in from that report and displayed in the widget. To demonstrate this we'll look at a simpler version of this widget. And what this will do is just show us a cut down version of this information so that you can see that you can have as much or as little information as you want. What we can also then do is to order this according to the different columns so that effectively we can have a league table depending on which information is the most important to you. So at this point you can see we're ordering by inbound call volume with Kerry as the highest call taker. There are lots of other widgets available as well. The selection we've looked at is just a selection to give you an idea of what's available. Really when a customer has subscribed to the system they'd want to have a look through, investigate the different widgets that are available and pick those that are relevant to them. Once the components of the dashboard have been chosen and arranged you can then display the dashboard on a large screen on the wall in your contact centre or perhaps the customer just wants to give access to specific team leaders or managers so that they can use this information to monitor the activities of their staff and ensure they're performing through the day. Or you could even make it available to agents to have on their own screen so they can understand fully what's going on within the contact centre.